Well, Flan Gang, I'm here in uh, the October morning, bright sunshine, enjoying this chrysanthemum, this garden mum. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you what, uh, this plant is one that really, that people associate with fall. Uh, and we're gonna learn about it. There's a lot to know. Uh, and come on in closer. Uh, come enjoy the sunshine with me and we're gonna learn about this plant. So we're talking now about plants that belong primarily to the genus Chrysanthemum. Uh, now, this genus has gone a lot of taxonomic changes over the last decade or so, and the plants mentioned uh, today in this video are gonna be found in the trade under the genus Chrysanthemum, or maybe even Dendranthema. Uh, but there may also be some difference, but one thing that I want you to know is that a lot of the ones that we see grown uh, in nurseries and in garden centers are actually hybrid plants. Most garden mums are hybrids that originated from species native to Russia, China, and Japan. And early hybridization uh, even happened with this plant in China as, back f as far as 500 AD. Uh, garden mums are hardy from zones three through nine. They prefer organic, well-drained soil, sited in full sun in the north, and at least a half day of sun in the south. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you that they, even though they're hardy uh, in the southeastern United States, they're not always completely reliable rebloomers from year to year. Garden mums require minimal maintenance, uh, cut back the plants typically uh, in the early part of the season uh, to allow their bloom to be pushed back a little bit further into the fall. So uh, perennial mums come in a variety of shades or flower colors, primarily pink, red, and white, but among uh, them also oranges and kind of a burnt rust colors as well. Uh, you can uh, find selections with a variety of different flowers, either open uh, aster-like flowers or uh, like the one that you're seeing right here with these uh, kind of doubled up flowers uh, where you really don't even see the center of the flower at all. Uh, now, uh, in particular in the southeastern United States, and now this doesn't hold up necessarily in, say, the Great Plains, uh, but you will see this plant show up in grocery stores, in nurseries, uh, all kinds of different places uh, as fall decor. And you can also choose to plant this plant out in your landscape after you use it as fall decor. Uh, now, in the southeastern United States, I find that it does not reliably come back and bloom the way that you necessarily want it to bloom uh, like it did when it came from the nursery or even the grocery store. And so I do encourage people to just buy this plant like an annual year after year uh, but you can choose to plant this in your home landscape, uh, giving it some full sun uh, as you go north. Uh, it needs a little bit of shade as you move into the deep south, uh, but you'll have to make that decision and experiment with that on your own uh, to get to bloom uh, really nice. You'll have to do some cutbacks, also potentially a fertilizer regimen. And so it's not a completely easy care plant to get it to bloom uh, like you remember it when you bought it at the nursery. So for ID characteristics, you're gonna see uh, the foliage come off the main stem in typically an alternate fashion. Uh, deep serration, small, just inch long leaves, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch wide uh, would be the ID characteristic on the leaves. Chrysanthemums, hardy garden mums, do have a distinct a smell to them when crushed and so uh, becoming familiar with that can also, can also help you ID this plant. Here's a landscape tip. Wonderful plant to use as fall decor, not always reliable in the landscape. 